우리 오늘 아직도 금요일체라기 도회이면서 또 국가와 보금 통일을 위한 80일 특별체라기 도회입니다. 그리고 오늘은 특별하게 우리 국제기도연합과 함께 세계교회 성도들과 함께 지금부터 우리 11시부터 1시까지는 우리 줌을 통해서 전세계 성도들과 함께 북한을 위해서 집중기도하는 시간이 되겠습니다. 아, 우리 오늘 그리고 1시 이후로는 우리 새벽 4시까지 기도운동이 늘 하던 금요일에 그런 기도의 주제를 가지고 이어서 기도하시겠습니다. 우리 오늘 우리 말씀과 기도 제목 읽고 같이 기도하겠습니다. 네. 모세가 이스라엘 모든 장로를 불러서 그들에게 이르되 너희는 나가서 너희의 가족대로 어린 양을 택하여 유월절 양으로 잡고 옷을 좀 묶음을 가져다가 그릇에 담은 피에 적셔서 그 피를 문인방과 좌우 설주에 뿌리고 아침까지 한 사람도 자기 집 문밖에 나가지 말라 여호와께서 애굽 사람들에게 재앙을 내리려고 지나가실 때 문인방과 좌우 문 설주에 피를 보시면 여호와께서 그 문을 넘으시고 그러라는 자에게 너희 집에 들어가서 너희를 치지 못하게 하실 것임이니라. 우리 기도 제목 같이 읽으시겠습니다. 에스터 기도 운동 본부와 스태프들과 회원들 그리고 사역을 예수님의 보혈로 덮으시고 보호하여 주소서 성령으로 기름 부어 주소서 금요철야 기도회를 섬기는 스태프들과 전국과 해외에서 참석하는 기도자들을 예수님의 보혈로 덮어주시고 영상 송출이 원활하게 하시고 예배와 기도를 해방하는 어둠의 세력으로부터 보호하여 주소서 기도회가 하나님 나라를 위한 순전한 기도의 제물로 드려지게 하옵소서 성령 안에서 하나님 뜻대로 기도하는 밤 되게 하소서 어, 특별히 오늘 밤에는 아까 말씀드린 것처럼 우리가 국제기도연합과 함께 이제 2시간 동안 밤 11시부터 새벽 1시까지 기도하기 때문에 저희가 시간을 평소보다 1시간 앞당겨서 10시 반부터 시작했습니다. 줌으로 시작하고 또 외국분들이 계셔서 지금 영어로도 동시 통역이 되고 또 우리 어, 우리 또 지난번에 방문했었던 우리 제클린 자매님 같은 경우에는 그것을 또 어, 어느 나라 말이죠 스페인 말로 한번또 통역을 해서 우리 그래서 이제 그게 또 우리 서, 스페인어를 쓰는 사람들에게도 들을 수 있도록 그렇게 이제 진행이 됩니다. 그래서 주님이 특별히 정말 역사하셔야 되는 그런 밤이고 또 이제 우리가 줌이 한 시에 끝나면 우리는 다시 또 원위치에서 우리 금요철에 모두로 돌아올 것입니다. 그래서 이번에 세계교회 함께 기도하는 이 북한을 위한 특별 두 시간 기도회가 정말 원활하게 잘 진행되게 하시고 특별히 동시 통영하는 우리 최석영 박사님 아 지금 리시버 끼고 통역을 계속 하시는데 정말 순간순간 주님께서 합당한 지혜와 또 단어와 문장을 주셔서 동시 통역 잘 되어지므로 우리 외국에 외, 이 외국에 계신 분들도 상황을 잘 파악하고 또 말씀과 기도의 제목을 잘 알아듣고 기도할 수 있게 하시고 또 영어만이 아니라 또 우리 스페인어로도 통역하는 제클린 자매님도 계속 붙잡아 주셔서 또 이것이 잘 번역되게 하여 주셔서 많은 분들이 한 마음 한 뜻으로 성령 안에서 기도하게 하옵소서 그래서 우리 이 기도의 제목 주님께 올려드리면서 주님 부르고 기도하시겠습니다 주여 하나님 감사합니다 에스터 기도 운동 본부와 스태프들 회원들 사역 예수님의 피로 덮어주시고 보호하여 주시옵소서 하나님 그 주차를 기도의 가운데 성령의 기름 부어주시옵소서 그 주차를 기도회를 섬기는 스태프들 전국과 해외에서 참석하는 모든 기도자들 예수님의 보혈로 덮어주세요 영상 송출 방송 사역 모든 것들 환하게 해주시고 순적해 주시며 예수님의 보혈로 덮어주시옵소서 예배와 기도를 해방하는 어둠의 세력으로부터 하나님 모든 기도자들 스태프들 방송 모든 영상 송출을 보호하여 주시옵소서 그며 철의 기도회가 하나님 나라를 위한 순전한 기도의 제물로 드려지게 해주시옵소서 집으로 기도하는 기도의 제물들로 순전히 사용하여 주시옵소서 이 급의 철의 기도회를 순전한 기도의 제물로 쓰러지도록 주님 역사하여 주시옵소서 성령 안에서 하나님 뜻대로 기도하는 밤 되게 해주세요 성령 안에서 기도하게 해주시옵소서 성령여 성령의 시간이 마셔서 기름 부어주시고 하나님 뜻대로 기도하는 밤될수 있도록 성령여 성령의 우리를 도와주시옵소서 우리 급의 철의 기도를 열심히 해보라 축복합니다 
1시부터 밤 11시부터 1시까지 진행을 제가 여러분들에게 좀 구체적으로 설명드리고 함께 기도하면 좋겠습니다. 아, 이제 아, 우리 처음에 이제 이 사회는 우리 제이슨 허버드 국제기도연합 총재이신 목사님께서 이제 사회를 하시고 시작할 때 찬양이 이제 5분 정도 있습니다. 그리고 이선희 사모님 아, 간증하십니다. 간증 끝나고 나면 어, 이제 우리 간증할 때 동시 동역되고 이 간증에 따른 탈북민을 위한 기도를 할 것입니다. 그리고 이어서 제가 북한에 대한 짧은 특강 같은 이, 이 영적 이해와 또 북한 현 실태를 알수 있도록 그렇게 제가 특강을 할 것이고 그러고 나서 이어서 또 아, 이제 북한을 위한 기도가 진행이 될 것입니다. 그래서 여러분들. 우리 지금부터 진행되는 우리 두 시간 북한 기도에 사회 보시는 제이슨 허버드 목사님을 위해서 기도해 주시고 또 찬양을 위해서 기도해 주시고 그 다음에 이선희 사모님의 간증을 위해서 기도해 주시고 간증 후 기도회를 위해서 기도해 주시고 이영희 교수의 북한 특강을 위해서 기도해 주시고 Okay, thank you everyone. I'm sorry. I was having some difficulty, but we're back on track now. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. So, Jason, um, I just sent you a message uh, via uh, WhatsApp, but okay, okay, you got it. Okay, good. Thank you.
나중에 10편, 24편 준비해 달라고 그랬어요. 나중에. I am speaking now. Yes, I am speaking now. I haven't been speaking for a little bit. By the way, will I be able to hear Jason speaking in the first five minutes? You, Professor Lee, great to see everybody today from our wonderful Korean family. 이 교수님, 여러분들 함께 해서 정말 반갑습니다. 저희 가족들. Wanna join our voices with you today from the nations. 아 이제 어, 열방이 함께 기도하는 날입니다. In praying for breakthrough in North Korea. 저희가 북한을 위한 돌파를 위해 기도할 것입니다. Uh, Jack and I had the uh, honor to be with the Esther family a few weeks ago in Korea. 제가 수주 전에 제클린하고 함께 한국에 방문할 수 있는 기회가 있었죠. Uh, today marks the first of four global days of prayer in 2024. 오늘이 2024년에 네번 있는 글로벌 기도의 날 중에 첫 번째 날입니다. And we are asking the nations to pray with us for breakthrough of the gospel in the Buddhist world. 저희가 열방이 함께 이제 불교권 나라들의 돌파가 있기를 함께 기도 요청하는 날입니다. But we've had a sense from the Holy Spirit uh, hearing many voices around the world that he's asking all of us to be praying this year for North Korea. 그런데 저희가 전 세계적으로 중보 기도자들이 오늘 올해는 북한을 위해서 기도하는 날로 저에게 말씀하시는 것을 듣고 있습니다. We believe that the Father wants to exalt His Son, the Lord Jesus, in North Korea. 저희가 믿기로 아버지 하나님께서 그 아드님 되시는 예수님을 북한 땅에서 이름이 높임 받기를 원하십니다. And so today, from the nations, we want to honor you, uh, the Esther Prayer Movement. We want to honor you, uh, Professor Lee, and your leadership for the many, many years of prayer for breakthrough for North Korea. 아, 북한을 위해서 정말 오래 수년 동안 기도해 오신 에스더 여러분들과 또 함께 기도하신 중보 여러분들께 중보자 여러분들께 감사와 격려해 드리기를 원합니다. One of the things that Professor Lee taught me, and we've been, uh, by God's grace, doing our best to live this out. Uh, 한 가지 제가 특별히 이 교수님께 배웠고 또 그것을 실천하기 위해서 노력하고 있는 점이 있습니다. When our family comes together to eat meals, we always take a few moments around our table to pray for North Korea. 음, 저희가 가족과 함께 식탁에 둘러 앉았을 때 식사 기도할 때꼭 북한을 위해서 기도를 합니다. Asking the Father to give daily bread. To North Korean families that are in need of a meal. Uh, 식량이 필요한 북한 
형제 자매님들께 하나님 일용할 양식을 주십시오. Both in the natural but also in the spiritual that there would come a day when they would be able to meet Jesus the very bread of life. 음, 그게 어, 육적으로 필요한 식량뿐만이 아니라 영적으로 그분들이 예수 그리스도를 생명의 빵을 받을 수 있도록 So we're so honored to join you today and we're going to follow your lead, Professor Lee. Uh, I wanted to ask if I could for Stephen to read through Psalm 24 to start us this morning. We're praying that God would open up the gates that he would open a door that no man can shut this year. 이제 어, 이용희 교수님과 에스더의 기도 인도를 저희가 따를 것인데 이제 시작할 때 저희가 시편 24편을 어, 스테파니 읽어 주도록 저희가 요청하고 그것으로 기도회를 시작했으면 좋겠습니다. 시편 24편 화면에 띄워 주실 수 있나요? 어, 저희가 한 목소리로 읽을까요? 시작. 땅과 거기 거기에 충만한 것과 세계와 그 가운데 사는 자들은 다 여호와의 것이로다. 여호와께서 그 터를 바다 위에 세우시며 강들 위에 건설하셨도다. 여호와의 산에 오를 자가 누구며 그 거룩한 곳에 설 자가 누구인가? 곧 손이 깨끗하며 마음이 청결하며 뜻을 허탄한 데에 두지 아니하며 거짓 맹세하지 아니하는 자로다. 그는 여호와께 복을 받고 구원의 하나님께 의를 얻으리니 이는 여호와를 찾는 족속이요 야곱의 하나님의 얼굴을 구하는 자로다. 문드라 너희 머리를 들지어다 영원한 문드라 들릴지어다 영광의 왕이 들어가시리로다. 영광의 왕이 누구시냐? 강하고 능한 여호와시오 전쟁에 능한 여호와시로다 문드라 너희 머리를 들지어다 영원한 문드라 들릴지어다 영광의 왕이 들어가리로다 영광의 왕이 누구시냐 만군의 여호와께서 곧 영광의 왕이시로다 아멘 아멘 할렐루야 we love you all over to you Stephen Professor Lee 할렐루야 감사합니다 이 교수님과 또 스테판 모두 사랑합니다 여러분 사랑합니다 네, 찬양하면서 우리 함께 다시 한번 우리 마음을 모두어서 접해 나가겠습니다. 
이제 저희는 두 시간을 하지만 이제 우리 전 세계에 계신 우리 기도자들은 아 이제 이두 시간 기도를 필두로 24시간 넌스톱 기도회가, 기도회가 들어가는 겁니다. So, 아, 그리고, 그리고 we are going to 이제, 아, pray two hours, but in globally, today is a 24-hour prayer day. 이른 아침부터 들어오신 분들에게도 아, 감사를 드리고 And, uh, 우리 한국 성도님들도 아메리카 이스트 코스트 is a morning 지금 우리가 with 줌 링크가 카톡방에 so. 지금 다 배포가 되어 있습니까? 네, 그래서 so, 어, if any of you w a n t 여러분들 동참하실 수 있고 그리고 이제 1시가 되면 우리 북한 기도가 And we are also live streaming on YouTube. 우리 훈련생들은 우리 이제 또 다른 우리 에스터 줌으로 들어오시면 되겠습니다. And after m when we finish our North Korean prayer. 이선이 탈북민 Then you can either watch through live YouTube or join Esther Zoom link. Uh, today we have a North Korean defector, uh, a wife of a pastor, Lee Sun Hee. So we will welcome her. I came to South Korea in 2019. In conclusion, North Korea is a hell of a human rights violation, and China is a slave market, huge slave market of human trafficking. In 1998, I escaped North Korea, and I was sold in China. And live with Chinese people who use different language and culture, and I had a lot of uh, difficulties. And I was captured by the Chinese police. Nobody will even imagine the darkness and difficulties of forced repatriation. In China, Dandong, shackled and uh, forced to cross to North Korea, I just let my fate. And in fear, I was handed over to North Korean police. And one young girl lifted up her head, and then they shouted to her, You rebellious. A bitch. You don't even have the right to lift up your head. We didn't have a trace of human dignity. They beat us with a wooden bat stick, and they infected our whole naked body. If anybody didn't cope, they beat us up all over head, limbs, the body. There was no place of our body which was okay. And uh, hunger and insects like flea, itchy, so we scratch and then it infects. This pain was unbearable. Not a single treatment. Every day is a brink of life and death. The next day, when I open my eyes, I realized that I'm still alive. And I felt a strong desire to live. It has been over 20 years. But even nowadays, when I wake up, I wake up from nightmares many times. I don't want to think about this nightmare-like human rights infringement. Less treated less than an animal. The most heartbreaking thing, which I will never forget even if I die, 
is regarding the pain and tears of pregnant women. They were sold. They were forced to marry and they were pregnant. And then if they are sent back to North Korea, then they treat them as the rebellious woman now has a, betray, a traitor, which means the baby. So they force them, bring them to hospital and force them to swallow pills to force abort. When the baby is forced aborted, there is a pain and fear that overwhelms the mother. Just think about it. And even think about the first cry of the baby. Just even once, the mom wants to hold the baby and feed and kiss the baby. But it is not allowed. And the little baby is thrown in the toilet. So the baby cries from the toilet in order to live and the mother the mother's heart imagine even after giving the birth not even a single treatment and her face is swollen and this trauma will never be erased in her heart this hell-like detention center one sister escaped from the detention center but captured and she was hung upside down in the air and beaten up with the wood stick and she became a permanent handicap there's also a sister who had uterus cancer who was not able to use any medicine and had to die. There was a sister who caught AIDS from China and she was killed secretly by poison injection. They were given small portion, just like a handful of rice and forced to labor. Malnutrition, and they die because of the harsh labor. One sister just said that she will go back to China. And just because that she said that, she was forced to starve in hard labor and died. So the North, the land of the North, is literally human hell. The human right infringed human annihilation. The worst human infri right infringement, a slaughterhouse. In my case, I had a chance to escape and was able to come to China. But the horrible state of the North Korean woman in China, the human trafficking, they are just buried, died and buried underground. So women aged between 17 and 40, they were sold by a broker and they were raped sexually abused by 25 men almost 20 years uh, 20 days in a row and one sister was raped day and night every day and caught disease sexual disease but she couldn't be treated so she had to pass it on to other men there was a girl, 17 age old, sold to a 40-year-old. 
men and sexually abused, pregnant and gave birth to a baby. It's a heartbreaking. A broker lied that this girl is a virgin. So the me men who bought her beat her up, drunken. So she barely escaped, managed to escape, and captured back. And the husband tied her up and beat her up with a belt and ran over her legs and made her permanent handicap. She tried to kill herself by drinking a whole bottle of pesticide. But they found her and sent her to the hospital. And then when she came back to her conscious, she cried, she hold my hand. Why can't I even die? She cried out. And when she was stabbed with a knife, at that moment, she cried out, I want to live. Even with the pain and trauma, she was dying, not even closing her eyes. I cannot forget her. I didn't have the ID, so I could not visit her last moment because I was afraid to be captured because I didn't have ID and be sent back to North Korea. There was a girl whose husband put her head through a broken glass window and ruined her face. So she has to wrap her face with towel when she goes out. In my case, a man beat me and I, my three of my ribs were broken and the whole, house, the whole household beat me. So I tried to kill myself by swallowing a hundred pills of some traditional pills, painkiller. So one day I visited the public police asking them to send me back to my country. That's better than here. And then they said, do you have a country? Where is your country? And they mocked. And it was more resentful than when I was beaten up. The fact that I didn't have a country that will embrace me when I go back, it was so resentful. Even the earthworm will squirm when stepped on. Why? We human cannot even resist. The man I was living with had a heart disease, so I couldn't even speak up because if he has some problem with his heart, then it will be a problem. So I was mute. I wanted to be free and live like a human. And the resentment of Yuryong, Yuryong, that's why I could not die. Every year when Chuseok, the Korean holiday comes, I wanted to see my daughter that I left in North Korea. So I looked up the stars in the night sky and sang a song. I will introduce part, part of the song. The lonely boat with no direction drifted by the wave. My hard life without nation. All this pain is what is actually happening in the land of China. This 
all these heartbreaking events, not even able to describe by words, mocking, despisement, sexual abusement, the North Korean woman, because we don't have our nation. The injustice of human trafficking treated even less than a dog. Why? Is it a sin? It is our sin that we were born in North Korea? Is it our sin that we met a wrong parent? Is poverty our sin? After the Asian Games, 600 were sent back to North Korea. They were they are under pain, tortured. Currently, there are 2,000 North Korean women in China in fear, waiting to be rescued. Each and every one are in fear of being killed. Please let us live. They would be crying out even now. The China government shall not neglect this. All those sisters who resentfully died, those sisters who are living under pain, those whose human rights are trampled on. The 2,000 beloved North Korean defectors, release them quickly and give your apology. In 2009, uh, in 2019, I came to South Korea and the love of the Father God has never departed me. In North Korea, they don't even know God, the first character G of God. I give thanks to God who gave me freedom, who dearly wanted freedom when I was in China. Right now, the love of Jesus Christ, who gave me freedom, is planted in my heart. My sorrowful tear. Now, like the woman at the well, who received the living water from the Lord, and now, just like Esther, who says, if I die, I die, and like Paul, who is the prayer warrior, I will rely on the Lord alone. Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1, faith is the reality of desired things. So from Hala to Bektu Mountain, from Bektu Mountain to Jerusalem, and from Samaria to the end of the earth, I will spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us pray together. God loves the world. So He gave His only begotten Son so that whoever believes shall not perish and have eternal life. Rejoice! Do not cease to pray and be thankful in everything. Just like that word, be thankful, be joyful, and let us all be praying all the time. The Lord is Christ, the Son of the living God. We meditate on this every day. And we thankful, be thankful that we are the children of God. And let us all become overcoming till the end. Let, lead us, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
탈북민들을 위해서 기도하는 시간을 가질 텐데요. 먼저 우리 전 세계 so, 기도의 날에 as we heard the message, we will be praying for the North Korean people. First of all, we are we give thanks to the Lord who gave us this precious two hours to pray together with the global church. And we also give thanks to uh, Jason Hubbard, who gave us this opportunity. Also, those who are all over, but pray for the North Korea with one heart, I give thanks and respect and my love to all those. Now, let us read the scripture and pray. Let's read this together in one voice. Remember those who are in prison as though in prison with them and those who are mistreated since you also are in the body. Open your mouth for the mute for the rights. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. And Asa cried to the Lord his God, O Lord, there is none like you to help between the mighty and the weak. Help us, O Lord our God, for... Okay, let's read the prayer. Protect the lives and health of sundry North Korean defectors who are currently undergoing interrogation after being forcibly repatriated. May those who first believe in Jesus in prison hear the gospel through them, accept Jesus, and receive salvation. Grant grace to those enduring the cold and torture in prison so that they may pass, pass through this difficult period with faith. Show mercy. Those of you who have been praying for North Korea will be used to this, but there might be some of you who are not used to the condition of North Korea. So I give a short explanation. When the North Korean defectors are caught in China, they were immediately sent back to North Korea. But recently, due to the COVID, uh, they were held in the China prison for during the past two years. Uh, and uh, we estimate several thousand of them in China, but we do not know when they will be sent back. So China must regard them as um, refuge because when they are sent back, they will be sent to prison camp or executed in public. So we have been requesting China government but the day right after Hangzhou Asian game, they forcibly repatriated 600 North Korean defectors. So many people have been raising uh, issues with that, and we had press conference and we shouted out so that the remaining will not be sent back. So while doing that, we prayed. First, the 600 who were sent back to North Korea, they will undergo hard interrogation and torture. And while interrogation, uh, they will be asked to, uh, to reveal the names of other North Korean defectors. So they will be tortured until they speak out everything. So we will pray that the Lord will protect them during the interrogation. And secondly, there are those who go to China and accepted Jesus. 
uh, even in prison, because in prison, there are people, believers in the prison. So the gospel is shared and preached in prison. So we pray that the Lord will open the ways for the captured North Koreans to believe and be saved. And we pray for their health and strength so that they will survive, they will live until they hear the gospel and be saved. Let's pray.
번째 기도 제목 가지고 기도하겠습니다. 우리 기도 제목 같이 한 목소리로 읽, 읽으시겠습니다. 시진핑 주석과 중국 정부의 Let's pray with the second prayer request. Let's read in one voice. Let the cries of forcibly repatriated North Korean defectors reach President Xi Jinping and the responsible officials of the Chinese government awaken their conscience and put an end to forced repatriation of North Korean defectors. May China abide by the UN Refugee Convention and the Convention Against Torture. English is kind of longer, so it may take a little bit longer to read in English. China agreed with the UN Refugee Convention and the Convention Against Torture. But China, China is not regarding the North Korean sectors as refugees. The Convention Against Torture includes that when somebody is sent back to the nation, if there is a risk that the person will be tortured, then the person sh shall not be sent back. That is included in the Convention Against Torture. It is widely known that North Korean defectors will be tortured when they are sent back. I've never seen even one person who said that they are not tortured when they are forcibly sent back. But China government is saying an obvious lie. So we pray that the Lord will intervene in the conscious of Xi Jinping and the high officials so that they will never forcibly repatriate the North Koreans. So Lord reigns the whole earth. So we trust that Xi Jinping and the officials will not forcibly send them back. Let the North Korean be free to choose the nation they want to go. Let's pray.
예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘. 우리 세 번째 우리 기도 제목입니다. 네, 우리 Jesus' name we pray. 아멘. 소리로 읽으시겠습니다. 세계 종교 request. 북한의 김일성 주최 Bring a swift end to North Korea's idolatrous worship of Kim Il Sung's 주최 ideology, idolation, deification, and three-generation hereditary dictatorship. Liberate the 26 million North Korean compatriots from the giant prison called North Korea. Restore the land of North Korea like. The land of Canaan. When we were crying out against the forced repatriation, we remembered the 1990s, the very difficult time, the marching of pain. Well, even at that time, the North Koreans who were forcibly repatriated to North Korea, their hands were pierced and chains shackled. So we were praying for them in tears. And uh, when I look back, it has been 28 years. So, so last year, when we were shouting, demonstrating, I guess, in front of the China embassy, I was thinking, how long shall we do this? When will be the day that North Koreans do not have to escape across the river to China, hiding and running away? The North Korean under starvation, not able to hear the gospel, the power of death, Juche ideology, the three generation hereditary dictatorship, all this shall collapse in Jesus' name. Let there be a righteous, normal leader of the nation who will prioritize the living condition of the people. So we pray that a righteous government for North Korea and that the land of North Korea will be blessed, that the people will believe in Jesus. They can share the gospel and worship with freedom. And not only that, let them be those who spread the gospel to other nations. So we ask God to help with this fundamental issue so that there will no longer be forced, forced repatriation. Let's call upon the Lord three times and cry out in prayer. Let's all stand up. Those who are praying together in Zoom, let's all stand up. Yes, please all stand up. Let's all stand up. And let's call upon the Lord, Juyo in Korean style, three times.
예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 앉으시겠습니다. 우리 함께 찬양 부르시겠습니다. 
주님께 영광 올려드립니다 북한의 영적 이해를 돕도록 간단하게 여러분들에게 북한에 대해서 좀 설명을 드립니다 어, 여러분들이 I will give a brief explanation of North Korea so that you can have some understanding in prayer. If you visit Pyongyang, then you will probably go to Bongsu Church in Pyongyang. There is a master, Lee Jongsu, at Bongsu Church in Pyongyang. Let's listen to the interview. She is the pastor, like associate pastor. She goes to church, but in her mind, she says that Kim Il Sung is God. And she says she doesn't believe in resurrection. So we looked at the education textbook. What kind of education they receive so that even a minister at the church will say like that? The fourth grade of elementary school, they learn two hours a week about the childhood of Kim Jong and Kim Il Sung and Kim Jong Suk, who is the wife of Kim Il Sung. The book on the right is the childhood of the great leader Kim Jong Il. The education of North Korea, they have to learn about the family, Kim's family. And uh, So Hakyo means uh, elementary school. There's a poem. Let's, I'll read this. There's been word of a new legend from the south, whispers in the alley, alleyways between the shoe shiner boys and chewing gum selling girls. The meaning, the uh, south means uh, South Korea. This is a poem in the elementary school textbook. So they talk about the shoe shiner boy and chewing gum selling girls, which represent the little children who are suffering to earn for living. General Kim Il sung used Suku Chi to fold the earth and teleport, and great leader Kim Jong il is said to have the ability to fold time. So folding the earth is like an ability that all Koreans are aware because it appears in the ancient stories. This is a miraculous ability to travel really quick. It's like a supernatural ability. And uh, they are taught that Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-un, Kim, Il Kim Jong-un, Kim Il-sung can use that. So look at the English of this slide. With a single use of this ability to fold time, Kim Jong-il can turn the sea into land and complete a hundred years of work in a year. If used once more, the soil can pour out treasures of gold and silver and new tall houses can sprout like forest trees. Now, if he used this ability for the unification of the nation, the concrete wall will crumble like sand and the great event of unification will come before us. This is, makes no sense. Kim Il-sung can use the folding the earth, folding the time. 
So even from a little child, they are educated like this. It's not only the textbook, but all the media they produce, including music video. They have to sing that their leader uses this ability. On TV, they just air this kind of video. So they regard their leaders as God. Oh, let's look at this music video. So North Koreans have to watch this kind of videos. I am trying to speak slow, slowly because of the translation. So please understand me. I will skip some slides here. So we have watched how they idealize Kim Il Sung. So what about Kim Jong Il? This is about the newspaper. Their number one newspaper. In Korea, there are like 10 major new newspapers in South Korea and countless newspapers. But in North Korea, this Nodong newspaper is the representative. Everything depends on this newspaper. During 1990s, this was the very difficult time. Three million North Korean people starved to death during the 1990s. In that, that period of time, the Nodong newspaper says this, considering North Korea is heaven on earth, and its people are enjoying heavenly life. God resides in North Korea, and its leader, Kim Jong-il, is God on earth. So North Korea, people are starving because the government is not giving food. But the newspaper is saying that North Korea is heaven. And Kim Jong-il, who made North Korea heaven, is God. So all the people of the North Korea, Korea regarded Kim Jong-il as God at that time. So I have a question. Uh, do they believe in God, in communist nation? There's no God in communism. But then North Korea leader God. So can we regard North Korea as communist? In other words, this is a heretic sect. Or we can regard North Korea went back to the ages of king, kingdom, where the kingship is handed over. Respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, even as a teenager, was well-versed in all academic fields. Social science such as philosophy and history, natural science such as mathematics and physics, military and diplomacy. 
Sorry, I couldn't read. He shot a gun when he was age three, and by the age of nine, he fired 10 bullets within three seconds, hitting and penetrating all of the targets. Well, some of you are laughing, but if anybody laughs in North Korea, he or she will be executed. Even professional shooting athletes cannot shoot more accurately and fast him. He began driving at age three, and before turning eight, he drove at high speeds on winding and hilly beat. The CEO of a foreign yacht company that was visiting North Korea in a yacht race at the age nine. So, from the age three, he, he was said that he, was, he drove. If you let a three-year-old kid on a driving seat, can he even step on brake or accelerator? This obvious lie is in their textbook and on TV. There's a saying that if you listen to lies a hundred times, then it starts to feel like real. Let's watch another video. So, we realize this is more than heretic sect. This is the current state of North Korea. This picture, we see they're bowing to the statue of Kim Il-sung. His life story is represented with many statues. So there are over 40,000 statues all over the nation. After Kim Jong-il died, they erected his statue. The height is 23 meters. A huge money was spent on this. So the deification of the Kim's family cost a huge amount of money. 50 billion won. So when Kim Il-sung just sits on a bench, the bench becomes like a treasure. They cover it with glass so that other people can just watch. Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un, they were passing by and just looked at this tree. And this tree became like a treasure. This is a tower of Juche ideology which ideal, idolize Kim Il-sung. 170 meters. This is recorded in Guinness book. Every village will have eternal life tower, which says that Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-un never dies. They will live etern eternally with the people. 
So this is called Eternal Life Tower all over the country. After Kim Jong-un died, the Nodong newspaper has the title like this. that Kim Jong-il will live in our heart forever. In all the hearts of the people, we know that when we believe in Jesus, that the Holy Spirit will reside in us, just like that. They're imitating. This is a waiting room, and they have the portrait of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-un, even in classroom. In the library, this is maternity hospital giving birth to child. This is like a vehicle or sub subway. This is a hotel room. In every house, they have the portrait and they're watching over the people. On TV, Kim Il-sung comes first. Stamp, money, Kim Il-sung everywhere. This is his book of his life. This is the 100th anniversary of his birth. So 2012, they had this parade. It turned out prosperity for the people of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, Joseon. So, Koreans are Kim Il-sung's people. They call Korea Joseon. So, this means that Kim Il-sung is our God and we are his people. So, they are confessing all over that they are his people. Highest glory to the great leader, the father of our people. They are giving the highest glory to Kim Il-sung. Highest glory to our great spiritual leader, Kim Jong-il. Giving the highest glory to Kim Jong-il. Highest glory to our great spiritual leader, Kim Jong-un. So now, Kim Jong-un receives the highest glory. I will... They are saying the same thing, the greatest uh, glory to the great leader. The great leader means Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un. Who do we give our greatest honor to? We give to God. But in North Korea, it is their leader. That is why we call this idealization or deification. Let's read the verse together. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. Isaiah 42.8. So, we have to pray that this word be realized in North Korea. No more Kim's family take the glory that is due to God. And that the North Korean people will not go to hell when they die. So we have to pray. This, in the middle of the picture, is the Juche ideology tower. And if you see the fans next to the picture, in hot summer, the Kim Il-sung in the picture will not feel hot. They turn on the fan. I have a question for you. Is Kim Il-sung Juche ideology? Is it an ideology or is it a kind of religion? Adherent.com in 2017 announced top 10 religions of the world. Juche ideology was identified as the 10th largest religion, world religion. According to the Adherent.com, the sect leader is Kim Jong-il, Kim Il-sung, doctrine, Kim Il-sung, Chuche ideology, and believers are all the North Korean people, 19 million. 
This it shows how the people of the north dies by the poisonous gas. Uh, it is estimated that about 1,400 people die by biological test. 140 and 1,400 people a year, and mostly they are Christians or political criminals. Biochemical test, they die, and believers are martyred. This is in prison camp. Uh, children, a child is being tortured. They give him um, burn, burnt marks. So there are 232,000 over, over 200,000 people in prison camp. So this is a national index. Democracy Index. This is the last of 165 nations. Economic Freedom Index, they checked 176 nations is the last. Uh, press Freedom, they examined 180 nations and North Korea is the last. Global Corruption Index, they estimated, evaluated 195 nations and North Korea is the last. Trace bribery risk. North Korea is the last among the evaluated nations. They have difficulty living, but they have to give bribes to the officials. So how difficult will it be? Global Slaver Index, North Korea is number one out of 160 nations evaluated. Christian Persecution Index, newly announced, North Korea is the most severely persecuted nation. Recently announced, it's not only this year, 2024, from 2002 through 2023, during the 23 years of evaluation, except just one year, North Korea was number one. And number two through number 10 are all Islam nations. So, North Korea, People say that Islam is the biggest threat of Christi Christianity, but I don't think so. It is North Korea's Chuche ideology, because the whole nation is gripped by Chuche ideology. So Korean church, together with underground church and the global church, must pray in unity to end this Chuche ideology. Let's read some, uh, we will skip some slides, and let's read this verse together. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen, to lose the chains of injustice and unite, untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? in order to loose the chains of North Korea, injustice and untie the cords of yoke and bring them free, freedom. And to end, to break the yoke of Kim Il-sung Chuche ideology, which will drag them to hell. So our fasting should work for this. So I propose those who are participating in the Zoom, global family, our neighbor, the North Korean, to rescue them until the day that they will have freedom until the day that their food will be provided, they will have no lack. I propose that we fast one meal a week 
영어로도 나옵니다. 그리고 이따가 설명하겠지만 이제 we, 일주일에 한 번씩 we, 영어로 um, publish three prayers for North Korea every week with some uh, explanation. And then we will start a uh, global prayer meeting one hour a week starting next week. North Korea, we can regard it as the end of the earth. The most difficult nation to be a believer that it will be occupied by the gospel. For that, I plead to you to fast one meal a week. So when I was, we were starting, Jason shared that we pray for North Korea at every meal prayer. We pray. I ask you all to pray in every meal prayer that the Lord would provide daily bread for the North Korean. Let's read this verse together. Remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves for the rights of all who are destitute. Let's read the prayer together. Let all the individuals, including six South Korean citizens, as well as Kim Jong-uk, Kim Kuk-ki, Choi Chun-gil, Ho Hyun-chol, Kim Won-ho, and Ham Jin-woo, along with the three South Korean missionaries held captive in North Korea, return to the embrace their families in South Korea. Set free those who are confined in North Korean political prisons and believers, especially the underground church members imprisoned in cell. Release them from captivity and bondage. So, prayer number one and two, so that the captured will be set free, and then they will have freedom, and then the missionaries and Korean citizens will come back to their families. Let's call upon the Lord and pray.
기쁨으로 돌아오게 하여 주시옵소서 하나님 이제는 시간을 지체하지 마시옵소서 정치봉수 형수가 속히 폐쇄되게 하여 주시옵소서 하나님 고통받고 있고 고만받고 있고 죽어가고 있는 주의 백성들 북한 주민들 하나님 불쌍히 해결 주시옵소서 정치봉수 형수가 속히 폐쇄되게 해주시고 갇혀있는 우리 북한 주민들 성도분들 모두 불려나고 특별히 감옥에 갇혀있는 지하교회 성도들 성들 주님의 자녀들 주님의 신부들 하나님 불려나게 하여 주시옵소서 하나님 가옥에 갇혀있는 우리 지하교회 성도님들 모두 불려나는 역사가 있게 해 주시옵소서 정치병소에서 배전하는 것에 지체하지 마시고 일하시옵소서 속히 일하시옵소서 주님 지체하지 마시옵소서 주님 역사하여 주시옵소서 북한에 흥류된 남한 성교사님 세명을 포함한 대한민국 국적자 여섯명 예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 우리 세 번째, 네 번째 기도 제목 같이 읽고 기도하시겠습니다. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will read together the third and fourth prayer. Bring an end to the three Uh, statues and portraits of Kim family, including over 40,000 statues of Kim Il-sung, be removed. Eradicate the nationwide idolatry and worship of Kim family, allowing freedom of faith and enabling people to worship, spread the gospel, and engage in evangelism without constraint. So, the people are dying. while having to bow to the statues and portraits every day. We declare that all those statues and portraits to be brought down in the power of the name of Jesus, that all the people will give the highest glory to God alone. Let's call upon the name of the Lord and pray. 속히 종식되게 해주세요 아버지 북한 전역에 있는 4만 개가 넘는 김일성 일가 동상들 집집마다 걸려있는 조상들 이 우상 중배가 모두 모두 주님 폐쇄되고 절거되고 없어지게 해주세요 하나님 이 우상을 무력화되게 하여 주시옵소서 견고한 집에 바하는 주님의 강력을 아버지님 찬양합니다 주님의 신실하신 것 전능하심을 찬양합니다 주님 이라시옵소서 하나님 김일성 미가 무성하신 뜻과 체리가 종식되게 주셔서 더 이상 북한 
드립니다. 아멘. 우리 네 번째 기도 제목 후반부부터 다시 볼 테니까 뒤로 넘겨 주시기 바랍니다. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. 시장의 자유가 주로 
and enabling people to worship, spread the gospel. Number five, let the message of the cross of Jesus Christ, the gospel, resound throughout every corner of North Korea and empower North Korean compatriots to become witnesses of the gospel, proclaiming it to the end of the earth. That they will have freedom to worship, to praise, and to evangelize that Pyongyang, great revival of Pyongyang, will take place again, and the North Korean people will go out to the nations as missionaries. Let's call upon the Lord and pray. This is the last prayer request. Until the North Korean compatriots can freely believe in Jesus, protect their lives and health, and provide them with sustain sustenance as only you can, Lord. So, this year, 2024, the Lord would cause a spiritual earthquake that all the idols, statues, all crumble down. And liberation, freedom for gospel to take place this year. Just as Jason shared that this year, 2024, the global church will continuously pray for North Korea that the door of North Korea be opened. 
Until the day North Koreans can freely believe, protect their health and lives. Currently, the government, the North Korean regime, is not giving food to most of the people. God, please provide them. Protect them so that they can be saved. Let's call upon the Lord and pray. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. We will have Jason, Pastor Jason, um, and uh, all of those across the, the nations who pray together in English and Spanish. I give my respect and love. Thank you so much, Professor Lee and our Korean family. We love you so much. And what an honor to pray together from the nations. Oh, 이 교수님 그리고 에스터 여러분 정말로 감사합니다. 우리가 함께 이렇게 기도할 수 있는 귀한 기회를 주셔서 감사합니다. By God's grace, we will do our best through the IPC networks and global family to call the nations to pray together this year for breakthrough. For our precious North Korean brothers and sisters. 하나님의 은혜로 저희 IPC와 글로벌 패밀리가 함께 북한에 하나님께서 돌파를 주시도록 저희 최선을 다해서 함께 기도하겠습니다. 아멘. 
We know you have been praying, and we believe that through this persevering prayer that Jesus will be exalted. His name will be vindicated and honored. 여러분들이 지속적으로 계속해서 기도해 온 것을 알고 있고 또그 기도를 통해서 우리 주 예수 그리스도의 이름이 높임을 받게 될 것입니다. It's his name that's at stake in North Korea. 북한에서는 예수님의 이름이 음. 중요합니다. 음. Amen and amen. 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 음. Uh, we're going to start a prayer time here on Global Family on Mondays every week. It'll be 8 a.m. Eastern time to pray together for North Korea. 저희가 매주마다 이제 IPC에서 글로벌 패밀리와 함께 매주 북한을 위한 기도를 할 것입니다. 월요일에. I'll ask uh, uh, Kurt if you could post this in the chat for us. And you're welcome to join us for this prayer time. 네, Kurt에게 지금 이 정보를 어, 줌에다가 어, 공지를 해주기를 부탁합니다. 그리고 함께 참여해 주시면 좋겠습니다. Our brother Stephen will be interpreting for us and will bring together some of us that were with you at the Esther movement along with others from Global Family to pray. 에스더의 여러분들도 함께 참석하시면 또 이제 통역해 주실 겁니다. I also want to encourage us as Professor Lee uh, asked us to do to fast one meal a week to pray for North Korea. 저희가 아까 이용희 교수님께서 요청하신 대로 일주일에 한 끼씩 북한을 위해서 금식에 참여할 것입니다. During our meal times to uh, at each time to pray and ask the Father to give these North Koreans their daily bread. 그리고 매 끼마다 식사 기도할 때 하나님께서 우리 북한 형제 자매님들을 위해서 일용할 양식을 주시도록 기도하겠습니다. He's a good father and he is our provider. Amen. 선하신 하나님 아버, 하, 아버지께서 우리의 하나님이십니다. 아멘. Uh, we also want to encourage you, and this is for our global family, uh, if you'd like to give some finances to the Esther prayer movement to help in the ministry uh, that they're stewarding on behalf of North Korea, we're going to put the post in the chat for you to give a PayPal link. 글로벌 패밀리 여러분들에게 공지인데요. 여러분들 가운데 북한을 위해서 어, 정말 선한 청지기로 그 역할을 감당하고 계신 에스더 사역에 지원하시고 하시는 분들은 저희가 공지에 올려드리겠습니다. We want to uh, pray and ask the Lord as the Spirit leads to give as you can. 여러분들이 어, 할수 있는 힘껏 함께 해주시기를 부탁합니다. Uh, we've also recorded this today, and we're going to send this out to our whole global family. If you weren't able to join us. 오늘 이 영상이 이제 녹화가 됐으므로 이제 오늘 참석하지 못한 분들을 위해서도 저희가 어, 업로드를 해드릴 것입니다. I encourage us to continue to pray with faith, faith that can move mountains. Amen. 저희가 계속해서 저희가 산을 옮기는 믿음으로 계속해서 기도하기를 권 권면합니다. 아멘. Our God is the God that answers prayer. 저희 하나님은 기도를 응답하시는 하나님이십니다. It's for His glory. It's for our joy, and it's for the salvation of multitudes on the earth. 그것이 그분의 영광이며 우리의 기쁨이며 또 많은 사람들의 구원을 위한 것입니다. We're going to continue to pray and jump to another prayer room for our global day of prayer for the Buddhist world. 이제 저희가 어, 부, 불교권을 위한 기도로 다른 기도 방으로 옮겨갈 것입니다. We'll put the link to that prayer room here in the chat. If you'd like to join us, you can. 여러분들 가운데 함께 하시기 원하시는 분들을 위해서 그 링크를 또 올려드리겠습니다. We're going to be praying for a full 24 hours on Zoom for one Buddhist city per hour. 저희가 24시간 동안 어, 한 불교권 도시를 위해서 매 시간마다 돌아가면서 기도할 것입니다. Uh, praying for the 500 million Buddhists in the world today to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Uh, 전 세계 5억의 불교권 인구들이 이제 예수님을 그들의 구주로 고백할 수 있도록 그것을 위해서 기도할 것입니다. And we want to pray some each hour for breakthrough in North Korea. Amen. 또매 시간마다 우리가 북한의 돌파를 위해서 기도할 것입니다. 아멘. 
We love you all. God bless you today. 사랑합니다, Thank 여러분. You 하나님 축복이 임하시기를 기도합니다. 이렇게 박수로 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. We all love global family of prayer. God bless. Mm-hmm.